Hello, this is John Spielman with a video version of my column for Sunday, August the 7th, which is tomorrow as I'm recording this. I wrote this a couple of days ago and I've called it, it's number 175 apparently, and I've called it Cross Checks, Deflections and Stunning Beauty. I've just noticed that this diagram is in a slight state on the, what I'm sending to them. That probably doesn't matter very much. Actually. Right, let's just check um, that we have got a recording on, and we have, because otherwise there would be no point in this. So, um, I wrote this today about cross-checks, deflections, and then I've got a beautiful study at the end. And I started by saying... <laughs> that um, of all the players in the Olympiad, Domaraju Dom, Gukesh um, is the guy who's doing best. He had six out of six or something when I, when I actually wrote this. He's now got eight out of eight. He beat Caruana as black today. His form is absolutely amazing. And um, yeah, well, India too beat the USA on Saturday as you probably know if you're on the chess space site. So, um, I wanted to give one of his games, and I gave his game against Gabriel Sargissian, and in the course of that, um, there was a variation with a cross check, with Queen H6 check missed by Queen H, met by Queen H7 check, just in one of the sidelines. And that brought me on to a nice tactical puzzle uh, well, I mean, it's a game from the Russian Championship, but there's a tactic in it. Fantastic defence. Then I started, then I carried on about cross-checks and a rather magnificent, I presume it is the world record, a composition in which some, some guy managed, Ponzetto, I think, managed to get 37 checks in a row. So check, 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 up to move White's 19th, which is ridiculous, of course, but very impressive. I couldn't remember, actually, whether it's possible with fairy chess to get an infinite quantity of checks. I assume it is, if you had the right fairy pieces. But with, with our pieces, you have to take things to continue. Right, and then I, at the end, I've got this beautiful study. So let's start. I'm going to go to here and to column 175 and we'll start with this beautiful win by Gukesh. So um, it's just a Queen's Gambit or Agosin, which is what they, they've they been doing, a lot of them. So this is quite akin to the Nimzo Indian but a little bit different because Black's played d5. And one difference is the white can play queen a4 check. <clears throat> and the reason you play that is to force knight c6 to block the c pawn. And you claim that it's a good thing the c pawn is blocked. This is what they do apparently. And e5, I don't know if you can wait delay e5 for a move. Maybe. I don't know if you can go a6 first. Probably can. Let me just have a look at reference while we're here. So e5 has been played and a6 has been played. So a6. All right. Um, so he took, took bishop b2. I think more often they take an e5 in this position. And... Sargissian took an f3, which is allowing white to open the, the g file. I think a6 has been played previously. So now you have an open g file, and it's at least fun to play. That I suppose... By the way, if you didn't take, say, queen e7, then there is the move knight d4. b5, rook g1. b4 looked a bit odd to me, but actually the engine doesn't mind it. Um, bishop b7 e4 says the engine I mean it looks looks quite a bad idea to allow white to have more units in the attack but actually apparently f6 is playable I'll just ask 
stockfish. I mean, it's the latest version. I think it's the latest still. 15. What it has to say for itself. And it is saying that F6 is playable. Which is interesting because it looks a bit dangerous. But there we are. A5 was played. Now he's really getting his boys working very quickly. Uh, if G6 then you just play H4 and carry the game on. He played bishop a6. Now you mustn't take and then play rook g1. Because if you do, then black has um, rook, rook g6. That would be stupid really, I think. You just have helped black. I think bishop f3 is possible. That's quite complicated. If white is going to double, then he must do so before exchange on a6. Because uh, otherwise black could block with rook a6 to g6. I slightly misspelled block, haven't I? Uh, black could black, I've said, oh well. Um, now he took, I think bishop f3 is also interesting, and went f5. So he's really got, he's softening up black's king side in quite a big way. Threatens to win with queen c4, says the great engine. And the great engine is, is right, actually. What happened was, I, I'd already written notes... And I picked some, a little bit of stuff off from the chess base website. And that's actually quite a sensible comment. I mean, it's much better than most computer-generated comments. Because it's actually true. So, bishop a7. e6. Why can't you play queen c4 anyway? Because of queen d7. Right, I see. Uh, if queen c4 now... this work? Queen c5, sorry. Right, okay, that's the point. So, king h8, bad move. This turns out to be a mistake. The alternative takes, takes, h6, looks very scary. In fact, apparently after takes, takes, king takes, apparently black's okay here. I mean, you wouldn't know in the game. You'd, you'd hope, if you were playing black, you just have to hope you were okay. But you wouldn't be very certain. King b1, Prophylactic move uh, leaves black in deep trouble. Indeed, the variation. I mean, actually, Stockfish says it's winning now, which is far from obvious, obviously. He took. Um, better, but much better try is um, h. Sorry, h6, rook g3, g5. And it turns out, apparently, that after this you can even take and go h4. Which, I mean, in a game, of course, you'd see that might be possible, but you wouldn't know if it was. It would be very hard to be certain that that was going to work. Um, I, mean, I think one of the reasons is actually that you've got a tempo with queen c4, which is a big deal. Now, so if, for instance, g4, if rook g8, queen c4, g4, because if the rook moves, you're going to have just queen takes rook, or you can take first and then do this. I mean, and you win the house, the garden, and all the appurtenances. So, so this does work. But I mean, it's not. It's. I mean, it's obvious it might work, but you don't know in a game. I think. But he took. So now um, I'll kill the engine for a minute. And put this in replay mode. And White has to decide how to break through. And basically, he just wants to treble on the g-files. The bishop wasn't on d2. And I think queen g2 would win on the spot, actually. So that suggests you could play bishop c3 check or the move he actually played, which, if you look, you can see there's another forcing bishop move, which is bishop b4. And bishop b4 does win, really. Bishop c3 is less clear. Um... So bishop c3 takes, takes f6, g7 takes, takes, check, king to there, check, king to here, and the game is continuing a bit. <coughs> I mean, it's probably good for... I'm guessing that you can't take that because the, the a6 rook might drop off somehow in some way, unspecified way. But, I mean, you know, it, it's still a battle, this. And bishop takes b4 is better... 
he played queen takes b4. If you go a takes b4, queen g2, um, then then this the best move is rook g7 or rook h5. And the threat of rook h7 chip just wins. It's just the end of the game. Maybe rook h5, I don't know if it's a move quicker. I mean, rook h5, rook g8, rook h7 check, or there's absolutely nothing to be done there. So um, he took with the queen. Now, I looked at queen f5, uh, pawn takes pawn rook to there. Is a miss. Queen takes f5, queen d6. That's a shame, isn't it? There's queen takes, rook takes, queen f7. And black has a best move here, which is um, the nice deflection queen e1 check. Rook takes e1, rook takes f7, with probably a winning position. But I was wondering about, the, um, that's the best move, but I started looking at this, and I thought, oh, queen h6, and I realised there was the cross check. So I actually wonder what was best. Rook g5 actually loses, interestingly, to check, and this vicious check just wins. Uh, I mean, I thought rook f2 draw, but I... And, uh, but he plays king a1. Queen to there, queen to there. The only move is rook g8. And now after check in here, it turns out the white's winning. You try king g8, and there are a lot of checks. And I said I actually got to about... Uh, in bed on Friday morning, I started look. I started trying to do this in my mind's eye, and of course I couldn't because uh, it was too far. Once you're giving checks with a queen and a rook, it's not going to work. And I realised that it was at least a draw. I mean, I knew that knew what the assessment was that it was winning, but I was trying to work out why. And in fact, well, okay, there are some thumb lines. one fun line. So what actually happened was he played queen g2 going back to the game and queen e4 check is absolutely forced. e7 and now you can win you can win promote the pawn which you do and this is pretty clearly winning. I mean you've got a queen the a pawn almost certainly. And, um, and in fact, in this position, queen b4 check, you're going to either check on b5 or g4, or take the bishop, so you actually win the rook as well. So that was the end of that. And a very fine game, I thought. I was impressed. It was on the chess Post website, but only with very minimal notes. And, 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 I, and I, I'd already, oh, I'm not going to bother to. So, um, because of the queen h5 check, queen h7 thing, I um, was reminded of this game. This is a game... Goodman against Vitalinch. Play king d2. So it looks like White's completely winning. Because uh, you're going to play well, rook g1 and queen h6 check and things. Pawn takes bishop loses, but black has a fabulous move. He has bishop d3. Just to put the, the king on the bad square, uh, White took it. He should have gone e4, actually. Bishop takes, um, queen takes, queen e7. And, OK, it's obvious that White has tried drawing chances here because black's pieces are quite bad and in fact the the engine says it's just a draw presumably white can make enough trouble to attack those those pawns before black gets organized and the pawns on the king side are a distraction as well but he went in fact he played sorry king d2 bishop he took with the king And now you've basically run, run out of rope. c five's a good move. Um, because you just aren't in time to stop everything. Knight a6 is a good move. Even better, probably. I don't know if it takes bishop is... 
Is there a taste, Bishop? Do you have some drawing chances? Maybe you have enough checks, actually. Might have enough checks, but after night today, you certainly don't. And he resigned. So, a shocking move, Bishop d3. Uh, really fantastic move. So then I went on and I, I actually... Um, I looked for cross-checks, and I found that article somewhere by Gregory Serpo where he'd uh, given this example, so I copied it out myself. This is basically, there are 19 checks in a row. Check, check. Sorry. Oh, bugger it. Oh, I'm so sorry. Should be a knight. Oh, what a pain. Um, I'm going to have to promote this. I'm so sorry, but I'm going to have to follow this. Rook takes knight, check. Pawn takes was knight. Uh, I'm just watching knight g3 to f1, check. What? How can you play knight e1? Could it possibly go want to play knight g3 to e1? What is wrong with this thing? Bishop g5. Queen takes bishop check. Bishop f bishop g2 check. Knight h2 to f3. Check. Pawn takes knight check. King d3 check. Knight c5, check. Uh, queen takes c5, check. Rook e3, check. Knight takes e3, check. c1 equals... Knight, obviously, check. Queen takes knight, check. So when I was putting it in, obviously... Uh, d2 to d1 equals queen or rook check queen takes d1 check e1 equals knight check clearly queen takes e1 check bishop f1 check knight e3 takes f1 check f2 check knight f1 to e3 check Pawn equals queen check. Queen takes queen check. Queen takes queen check. Where are we? Queen takes queen check. Queen takes queen check. Knight checks. Rook to e3, check. Knight takes, check. Pawn equals queen, check. Rook takes queen, check. Pawn takes queen, check. Knight c2, check. Knight f2, check. Bishop takes knight, check. Uh, delete variation. Sorry about this. Um, right, Let's just do that again. Now I can play through it. So, check, 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 check. Check, 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 check. Well, there we are. Pretty impressive thing. And I'm sorry I ended up rewriting it in front of your very eyes and getting and ironing it out. Right, I've got something much more chess-like now, which is a beautiful study by the the wonderful. Danish composer Stefan Slumstrup Nielsen, who I have to admit I, I hadn't heard of him, which is dreadful, because he is a wonderful composer. And I showed this 
Well, I, well, after I, I was shown the final move by John Cox, by I am John Cox, he said, this is wonderful. But he told me there was a last move. And I think I lost it in my inbox and then I got it back with just the last move. And then eventually I found it in Mr. Slumstrup's um, Twitter feed. And I presume I'm allowed to reproduce it. And it is very, very beautiful. So it's a study, white to play and win. And it starts fairly sensibly. E7, rook c8. If bishop c6, you just go rook c4. You're threatening g4 and f4, mate. And there's nothing really. Say if bishop e8, g4, or I don't know, bishop e5, g4, bishop takes rook, body was queen. So rook c8, rook f4, just normal chess really. And knight c6 is a very clever defence. If uh, rook takes knight, rook f8, rook g7, you just have to go f4 check. Obviously not pawn equals queen, rook h7 mate. We just go f4 check first. Now, you can't play knight takes pawn because of f4 check, king h5, g4 mate. So you have to go check first and take. White plays f4. Now if king h5, you go king h3, g5, g4 check, king back, knight takes knight check. So you have to go king g4. And we reach the position in the study, the main point of the study, where white has a fabulous move that wins. And I urge you uh, to look for it. Um, I think it's very difficult to solve this from the start, perhaps, but by this stage... If you're looking for a fabulous move, you might see it. It is utterly beautiful. It is the magnificent move, rook f5. So if you take with either the white threatening rook g5, mate. If you take with the pawn or the knight, there's knight f6, mate. And if you take with the king... You take with the king. Check here, here. If you went to e4 and played c4, you just go knight d6, check at once. And there are various ways to win, but this is as good as any. And there we are. It's an absolutely beautiful study, which I've been shown to absolutely everybody who I've seen uh, in recent times. So, um, I hope you've enjoyed all these. Um, it, the next one will presumably be on today's the 7th so on the 21st we'll be in a fortnight so i'll think of something to do in a fortnight so um see you then and enjoy the final rounds of the olympiad and we'll have to see with the gukesh just how far he goes after starting with eight out of eight including wins as black against shirob and caruana well there we are cheers then <laughs>